How you doing? Sorry about the quality of the video. I've never done this before. Uh, I've been to cars a long time. The worst part of what costs the cars is the bodywork. If you have to pay for somebody to do all sorts of custom bodywork, the price is ridiculous. You're looking at anywhere from seven to ten thousand dollars to do a good job for you. But I've decided to try this, and I wanted to show everybody how it turned out. What I've done here is this car is completely painted with what we call in Canada spray bombs, but what you call in the States the rattle cans. All done with the metal paints like Rust-Oleum, Tremclad, any of those. What I'd suggest anybody does first is go to a site by Ed Hubs to show you how to make the marble paint base. He does some amazing work and everything he does you can duplicate with spray bombs. That's your first step. Next step is to go ahead and pick a car and go nuts. It's best if you can find a silver or black car for this one because it gives you the, uh, the right base. To do these things up here, these little graphics, just tape them off, do a couple of light coats of red over top of the silver and black, and then paint the whole car red. It's really hard to get a good look at this car with the light because it's so the depth is amazing, but you gotta, it's really difficult to see. I'll see if I can get a little closer and show you what it looks like. I put purple over, actually metallic blue over the uh, red, which gives you a purple look. Again, too hard to see, but it's because of the light. This car, complete, probably didn't cost more than $400 to do the whole car. I had a body man friend of mine, I told him what I wanted to do and he told me that it would be anywhere between seven and ten thousand. I did it for under four. The most important factor with this too is to have somebody clear coat the car. It costs you probably a hundred bucks. I had a lot of people come and tell me how much they liked the look of the car but none of them realized how I had done it. They just thought I did all with automotive paints. Unfortunately it is ridiculously difficult to see what this car really looks like because of the bright lights but it's quite impressive and at night it show, it's a totally different color again. It's amazing. You can see how the blue on the red makes purple along the wing. That's what it looks like up close. I did this whole car, like I said, with spray bombs. This particular job is three colors, black. The car was originally black, coated with silver, then marbled according to the head hubs video. And then I used a metallic candy red over top of that. And then a metallic blue over that to give me this purple right here. Everybody that's seen it was just amazed with how this turned out, and so was I actually, so I thought I should show some of you kids. There's nothing wrong with having a $500 car, but it's ridiculous to have to put $5,000 into the body of paint. When you're under $500, you can do it yourself. All you need is some patience, a little practice, and you're good to go. I'm going to show you a couple other things that you can do over here. Again, sorry about the video because I'm not very good at it. This is what you can practice on. This is the original silver and black. And all I did was mask it off, painted some red over top of it. Did some little graphics with a fine line. And you can see what you can end up with is really impressive. And all it takes is a little time, a little practice, and you're good to go. The only thing stopping you is your ability to give it a shot and not to let people make fun of you because I know a lot of my friends made a lot of fun of me when I told them what I was going to do. But when I was finished with it, I was happy with it. You know, it's, it's one of those things. It's totally up to you. Just put the effort into it. Try. And it'll blow your mind what you can come up with for under $500. This is when I put the purple on, the blue on the red wet. It gave me a real interesting purple look. 
But like I said, it's all up to you. It's amazing what you come up with when you put the effort into it. And even this video doesn't give you a real true sense of what this car really looks like. Because the sun is so bright, the car is so reflective, that's where it gives me the trouble. But, your car to you is pretty important even if it's a neon, it doesn't matter. Just take the time and effort and you can come up with something just like this for under 500. And like I said, go to Ed Hubs' site and uh, check out the marble finish and that'll show you how to do the base. Everything he does you can do with spray paints, take your time. It'll blow your mind when you're done. So anyway, I'm going to do another car later, maybe in Planets. If I do, I'll see how it turns out, and I'll put it on too. Until then, yes, I know I put the Acura symbol upside down. I did that on purpose. And one other thing I wanted to show you. I ended up with a belt buckle my young lad gave me after the Transformers came out, and I thought this would be a good thing for this. A Decepticon. Because just like them, you don't know what you got. It's not really what it is until you take a good look at it. Good luck. Do your best and you'll have a nice looking car for nothing if you put your effort into it. That's it for now.